That's it? That's all you have to say? Oh, you came? Of course I fucking came. Damn it! The conference was fine. You know, up until the part where I get the phone call from your sister saying, Oh, hey, don't freak out, but your lover has been in the hospital for the past few days. Would you mind checking on them when you're done? You didn't want to bother me? For fuck's sake, this bothers me. Seeing you in a hospital gown, attached to all these machines, bothers me. Why didn't you call me? I don't give a damn about the conference. Who cares? I could always present my research another time. But for three days, I was completely unaware that you were here by yourself. I should have been here. I'm not mad. <sighs> Fine. I'm mad. But not at you. I just wish you would tell me things. I feel like you're always hiding secrets from me. Because you're afraid it'll distract me from my thesis or work. Like that time you got the flu. And I found you passed out and dehydrated on the kitchen floor. I'm your partner. Right? That means... You need to tell me these things, because I can help, okay? I can pick up the slack, or take some time off to care for you. I don't mind. What I do mind is this. I don't like seeing you like this. God, you must have been so scared being here by yourself. Don't lie to me. I know how much you hate the hospitals. Where's your family? Are they coming down? Of course you did. You know your mom is going to blame me for this, right? She doesn't like me enough as it is. I was worried. I caught the soonest flight to get here. It's all a blur, really. I don't even really remember getting here. I just had to see you. And that's all that mattered. Now, what happened? Why are you here? Don't start. You can either tell me, or the doctor can. Your choice. You what? What the hell were you thinking? You know you can't get yourself wrapped up in work like that. You skip meals and never rest. It's no wonder you ended up here, for Christ's sake. No, no, shh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, love. I didn't mean to be so harsh. I I just panicked. I thought... I thought a lot of things. None of them good. Your sister didn't know many details. Just that you were stable. Kept thinking I was going to lose you. Of course I care for you, moron. I love you. You know that. That's because I can't say those words as easily as you can. I'm not the touchy-feely person. But I love you. More than anything. Which is why it pisses me off so much when you hide things from me. I know you didn't want to bother me at the conference. But love, there will be other conferences. 
I don't have to present my research at this specific conference to make progress. I would have rather you called me and told me what was going on. There better not be a fucking next time. As soon as they discharge you, I'm taking you home. And you're gonna stay there until I'm satisfied you're better. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. If you didn't want me to fuss like this, you should have called me earlier. Nope, afraid this is non-negotiable. No, nothing you say will make me calm down. Think about this from my perspective, okay? What if I had been here three days and you hadn't known? Yeah, you'd be upset. Well, I am upset. So make it up to me. You're going to be following my orders until the doctor sign you off. You're going to eat and rest and take your damn medicine. Because I can't... I can't see you like this again. I don't think my heart can take it. What? Stop moving. I'm not going to lay down with you. You need to sleep. Really? Puppy dog eyes. Like that will. Oh, fine. Move. Are you okay? If I'm hurting you, tell me. You sure? Of course I love you, idiot. Jesus, what are you? Twelve? Well, if you can smile that much, you must not be that sick at least. Now... Close your eyes and rest. I'll wake you up when the doctors come. Go to sleep, love. I'll still be here when you wake up. You can't get rid of me that easily. Sleep. Now. <laughs>